Welcome to the Reticule Presents. I'm your host, Chris Evans. Today, you'll watch me take part in uh, Franklin's first mission on Grand Theft Auto V on the new generation consoles. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4, and we'll pick things up from when Franklin um, opens the garage door and gets uh, assaulted or ambushed by a mob. As we pick things up, you can see that I am taking part playing this in first person perspective. And I've immediately run for cover. Hit the R1 button to get behind cover. And you can see the effects of the uh, Rax engine with the new explosions. Looking very nice. Aiming in the first person perspective takes some getting used to. It's not quite as responsive and um, normal feeling as a game like Call of Duty or Destiny. But after a while, the shooting starts to, uh, starts to make sense and you understand what's happening. Run forward, taking cover behind the truck. Taking down the guys on the balconies. The animation on the weapons is really nice. I shall see soon when I change the shotgun. I take down, take cover, take cover. Of course, I made a massive cock up from shooting there, shooting into thin air. Uh, as I said, you know, it takes a while to get used to shooting in this game. And if you know me at all, you know that I'm used to playing first person shooters on the PC, not the PlayStation. So, uh, my execute with the controls isn't the best. Man, this is crazy. Here we go. I only need to chase down the guy on the bike. And I'm getting into the car. For some reason, I look around. I see that my partner isn't in the car. And I decide to make a, make a run for it. At which point I get a message saying, Go back and get Lamar. Quick three point turn. Lamar's back in the car. I wanna get paid. Paid ain't worth shit when you're doing 25 with an L. We massacred those motherfuckers. And this is all in the first shit. person perspective. Dodging around traffic. This month get away, we're going down, homie. He gonna pin us for all these bodies. And whose fault is that, Mr. 80s? Smashing into truck. We need to Can be difficult at first to figure out. When you need to slow down in first person, it's a total mind. Uh, you need to change your mindset compared to uh, how you normally play in the GTA games in the third person view. If you want, you can change the driving and the walking back to third person anytime. PlayStation, you just press the t press the touchpad a few times to cycle through the views. I can't defend myself there. That was just. Me driving like an idiot. Time to get that shit up. No credit, right, at this point I'm trying to figure out how to drive and shoot at the same time. It's fairly tricky, as you need to steer with the left stick, hold down L1 to pick up the gun, aim the gun with the right stick, and shoot with R1. It gets a bit messy. And of course your partner doesn't want to take part in the action either, does he? My windscreen's bust, been busting in the chase, dodging through the more cars. And my shots hit the target. Now I run up to the bike, pick it up. And I'm on my way, I just need to get back to the car wash to end the mission. Bikes very nimble as ever. Very much fun to drive. Mm. 
there you can see the first perspective really adds something to uh, how things play out. Taking a bit of a shortcut to the park. Some lovely scenery and shrubbery there now. You can see everything looks so much more detailed compared to in uh, GTA 3. I just used the cinematic view button uh, as a mistake. I meant to use the handbrake, which is R1, but I accidentally pressed this yeah, circle button. A few more corners. Dodging some traffic. Over the street furniture. And I'm back. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, bro. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my uh, pool shooting and crazy driving. I shall return soon with more videos from Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PlayStation 4. For now, this is Chris Evans from Radcule, saying goodbye.